Good day everyone, it's me again, Emily Pencil. It's another day and yes, I'm back for another instructional video. So, for today's video, we'll be dealing with misplaced and dangling modifier. So in this video, we will learn Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why do you wanna end? Was he really just a friend? Why do you wanna end? Now let's talk about misplaced and dangling modifier. Both words refer to modifiers in a sentence that are attached to the incorrect object. A dangling modifier's intended topic is absent from the sentence completely, whereas a misplaced modifier is too far removed from the thing it's meant to alter. What is a misplaced modifier? A misplaced modifier is one that is put too far away from the expression, phrase, or clause it is supposed to modify giving the impression that it is modifying something else. A misplaced modifier, on the other hand, can be corrected by repositioning it to the correct subject. Let's take a look on these examples. The waiter served a juice to the guest that was four season. The waiter served a four season juice to the guest. The waiter served a juice that was for season to the guest. Among the three examples, it is the first example that has a misplaced modifier. So as you can see, in this example, the misplaced modifier implies that the guest was for season. Moving the modifier correctly indicates that it was the juice that was for season. Did you get it? So let us now proceed to dangling modifier. Now what is a dangling modifier? When the subject of a modifier is absent from the sentence, it is called a dangling modifier. The most common type of a dangling modifier is an introductory phrase followed by a clause that doesn't define the intended subject. The subject who was groping on the wall is not stated, so it seems like the lights were doing the groping. A dangling modifier like this can be fixed either by rewriting the main clause in active voice or by revising the introductory phrase. Bye.